Test, 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 test. Good Wednesday, everyone. I hope your week's going well. I had a wonderful time myself this morning speaking to the Crossville Breakfast Rotary, talking to them about the Bigfoot Festival that's coming October 15th. Don't forget to go to ucbigfoot.com to learn even more about that very cool festival that's coming really soon. So we're all ready for it. We're, we're ready to welcome you out. So come on out and look up that website, ucbigfoot.com, or let me know if you have any questions. Look at our daily weather map across the country. We see some unsettled weather once again across the northeast, especially along the coast. That's again from the remnants of tropical, what was a hurricane, then tropical storm, and now just an extra tropical low, Ian. So just producing some showers, nothing too severe. More unsettled weather, again, non-severe from Illinois back up to Minnesota, just some showers and then some more showers stretching across portions of all of New Mexico and then parts of Arizona and Colorado. And in fact, in Colorado, it's cold enough that where some of that moisture turns to snow. Looking at our nation's temperatures for today, lots of warm air across the country. October is known for warm spells and cool spells, and that's for sure what we're seeing. Seeing some cooler air across the coast of the uh, mid-Atlantic up to the northeast. That's from those showers that they're expecting today. And then we see some more cooler weather across the southwest, again, right on New Mexico, where they're also expecting showers today. And the coldest temperature in the nation, the coldest high temperature of the nation is expected to be about 31 degrees in south central Colorado. That's, again, where some of that moisture will turn to snow. And the nation's high, hottest high temperature will be 106 near Death Valley, California. Checking out our five-day outlook, we don't have any extremely hot or extremely cold temperatures in sight. We also don't have any rain in sight, so it's looking mostly sunny. Highs around 70 today, low 70s tomorrow. Back down around 70 on Friday as cooler air from a cold frontal passage filters into the area. That drops us down into the mid to upper 30s Friday night. Another night of patchy frost. I saw a lot of patchy frost this morning on my way to work. And then Saturday and Sunday nights, it's looking like a widespread frost. Our first widespread frost of this season, where I think everyone will wake up with some frost on the windshield by Sunday morning. So be ready for that. And on this day in weather history, in 1954, we were very warm in Crossville. In fact, we had our warmest temperature for the month of October, 86 degrees for the second consecutive day. So 1954, a very warm week in October. 1972, heavy rains from a tropical storm fell across Arizona, and it is believed to be the first time a tropical storm remained intact with its circulation to make it all the way to Flagstaff. So it's unusual for a tropical system to come into the southwest U.S., and remain um, intact like that one was like Tropical Storm Joanne, but that certainly happened in 1972. You folks have a wonderful day and keep looking up. And if you want more information, just keep reading along in the blog, meteorologistmark.com. And if you want more information about the Bigfoot Festival, go to ucbigfoot.com.